This week will officially begin a new era for the Crimson Tide football team because for the first time since 2007, there is a new head coach for A Day at the University of Alabama. Well, fans will get to see Kalen DeBoer's team for the first time as he takes over for the legendary Nick Saban. Jonathan Hardison in studio now after talking with Coach DeBoer. And Jonathan, you had a chance to talk to him face to face. How are his nerves? How is he holding up under all this pressure? <laughs> his hands are steady, Sarah. I'll tell you, no shaking there. A big smile on his face today as we chatted, Coach DeBoer not shying away from those championship expectations that come with being the head coach of the Tide and following the greatest to ever do it. He told me today he welcomes those expectations, and we started by talking about how important culture in this program will be to meeting those expectations. You talk a lot about culture in your previous programs. What's the culture you want to set here in Tuscaloosa? Yeah, I think when it comes to the team's culture, um, it's one that is player-led. Um, player led doesn't mean that they're making the rules and things like that, but they're a part of what they want this to look like um, because I think that adds to the ownership and the investment they're all going to pour into the program each and every day. And so uh, I'm just trying to really, you know, give the organization, give the, uh, the accountability pieces that I think are really important, um, you know, provide the plan, provide the, provide the roadmap uh, that I you know, that I feel can lead to success. You talked about cut it loose. That is, that's a phrase that I think it probably encapsulates a lot of the video, a lot of the things we're seeing come out of spring practice, the uh, blitz, bam, blitz. I mean, all the things that you sort of embrace, there's music playing now, it's just a different feel. Is that part of attracting players in an era where they are basically free agents every year? The portal, NIL, there's places they can go. Do you want them to be um, having fun as they're learning and getting better? Yeah, I guess it's always been that way for me. Um, I think about, the, program, the times when we were maybe the best uh, in winning the championships, and it goes back 15, 20 years, um, you know, those teams were just loose, um, but they had a switch that flipped, and I just have taken that uh, throughout all the years, and I felt like, you know, it doesn't happen overnight um, because the, your team needs to know, like, okay, this is where the line's drawn, you know, and, uh, you know, I want our guys to, to respect the game, um, to realize that the work's the work, and uh, you know, there's an accountability, there's a discipline um, that has to exist, there's a physicality that has to exist uh, in order for you to win at the level we need to win at and want to win at. But um, I also want these guys to be who they are. I want their personalities to come out. I want them to, to they, they love the game that they loved it, how they loved it years ago. When we look at next fall, the expectations are going to be sky high. That's part of what you're embracing. Uh, Alabama fans have been known to get very anxious after one loss. So what would you caution fans to expect next year as you build a program, as you said, making it your own, these kids coming in and, and sort of learning the way that you want to do things? Um, how should fans condition themselves? What level of expectations should they set for this program come next year? Yeah, I, I keep the expectations high. You know, um, you know, no matter how the play was on the field or, you know, how close the win was, uh, you know, whatever happened on, on Saturday, um, keep the expectations high. That's the way it's always going to be. Uh, we're going to always have the pedal down and, and be really critical, self-critical of, of where we're at. Um, you know, we're going to analyze where we're, where we're great, the areas we need to improve. Um, we're going to have, um, you know, constant meetings on, and that goes with the relationships we have within the program on um, continue to just you know, being able to be, you know, real, you know, have real talk, you know, and uh, kind of tell the truth on where we're at and not hide behind uh, the facades or anything like that, that, uh, you know, make it make it feel like we're good. But, you know, there's some there's some things we got to work through. So we're just we're just going to, you know, be where we're at, be in the moment and keep pushing forward. And you'll get your first chance to see that new look tie team on the field at a day Saturday kicks at 3 p.m. at Bryant Denny and new on six hundred side part of our conversation about how coach DeBoer and his family want to play a big part in their community off the field as well, Sarah. All right. John.